Sluggers all over the region have their eyes on the new World Baseball Academy's baseball fields. News Channel 15's Kaitor Pessoa went to the community open house to catch some of the excitement. Gone are the old medium-sized fields with all dirt infields and bad grass. WBA is transforming their 26-acre campus into a first-class baseball hub right here in Fort Wayne. The World Baseball Academy is showing off their new world-class fields to the public. Turf surface infields and natural grass outfields. There will also be irrigation, fencing, dugouts, and asphalt walkways between the three fields. Umpire Troy Jester is impressed. These facilities are on par with or better than anything you're going to find in a larger metro uh, market or area. I've never quite seen anything like this around this area and, and I'm just simply amazed at it. Ten-year-old third baseman Braden Mendez was at the Ash Center today for the open house. He likes how the new fields will make the games easier for both the people who operate them and the players. Instead of all these guys working so hard you don't have to really do anything and people can have more fun playing on turf so you don't have to worry about getting hurt or anything. And the amount of money I think you would save on maintenance and upkeep and from a, a, an umpire standpoint when you look down your outfield lines or you look at your infield lines the, the lines are crystal clear they, they don't get uh, manipulated they don't get moved they don't get erased highly movable and super accessible the community fields can support play for age eight through college the new artificial fields are a game changer really when it comes to um, you know, playing in the rain and, and usability. So we want the community to use this. So not just our tournaments, um, but midweek we want to have uh, not just travel teams, but high schools, colleges, Wildcat, Little Leagues play out here. Uh, you know, it's really for the community. The WBA expects to play games on the new fields in the spring. Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.